Hello, Mid-Missouri. Welcome to Columbia Access Television's Making a Difference. My name is Jennifer Erickson. I'm the director at CAT. We call it CAT for short. And I'm filling in for Marco Tapia, our regular host for Making a Difference. And we are lucky enough to have the relatively new director of the Food Bank of Central and Northeast Missouri with us today. Hello. Welcome to our show. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. Yes. Um, we have a few events to talk about, or at least at least one event and ongoing activities. So the big one, as I understand it, is coming up this weekend, right? May 9th. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that event, and then we can talk about Food Bank in general. Sure, perfect. Um, so this Saturday, we are very excited that we have um, Stamp Out Hunger coming up. And that, in fact, is the largest food drive that happens across the country um, on that particular day. Um, it's a great collaboration and partnership that we have with the National Association of Letter Carriers. We serve a 32 county area through the food bank, um, but 27 counties within our service area will be participating. So by now, hopefully, um, all of your viewers have received a bag in the mail that um, uh, talks about the food drive and encourages people to put food out um, next to their mailbox on Saturday. Uh, there also is a card that's enclosed there. So if um, people choose to make a, a monetary contribution, they're welcome to do that as well. Great, and as far as monetary contributions, Contributions. I know you probably have these um, statistics like uh, what a dollar goes we for, do. $5.20. Can you give kind we of a... We do, right, absolutely. Um, One dollar actually allows us to turn around and um, acquire 12.5 pounds of food wow. or 15 meals. So um, we love that people want to make contributions of food. That's very important. Um, and we think it's a great way to educate um, particularly children about the act of, of giving back and serving others. But um, the reality is that with each of those dollars we take in, um, because of the connections that we have, we're able to leverage it into many more meals. Right. So the dollars will definitely be taken Absolutely. and might even be... Well, not a better scenario. Um, I understand what you're saying about... Equally as important. Equally yes. as important. Yes. And the, are these the blue bags? They're kind of... Um, uh, you, uh, transparent kind of and exactly okay yeah exactly. I saw one in my mailbox okay <laughs> fantastic so um, and yeah this is a great reminder because that's um, that's probably you know we all get so busy but um, Saturday so just by the time the mail carrier comes if right. you have your and you can go through your cabinets and, and absolutely yeah. absolutely if you don't have time to make it to the grocery store to pick up some things um, then definitely go through your cabinets and see what you might be able to give us Great. So we would encourage people to put um, their items out as early as they possibly can, too. Yeah, right, so. to make sure it's not missed. Um, mm -hmm. It's probably a big day for the letter carriers. It I is, guess. a big day for them. And I would also add that um, if anybody is um, wanting to make a difference themselves in a hands-on way on Saturday, we're looking for volunteers. It takes okay. a lot of people to help us um, put all of this together. So here in Columbia, for example, we will be working at the um, main downtown uh, postal facility. Okay. Um, so if anybody has an interest, call the food bank directly, talk to our volunteer coordinator. We'd love to have them come out. Great. Yeah, that's something we could do this weekend. And Absolutely. I think it's supposed to be a nice weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. Um, but yes, so Food Bank does a lot of good in our communities. I know when we were talking earlier, mentioned the difference between a food bank and a food pantry. Sometimes mm -hmm. that's confusing to mm -hmm. the public. Do you want to talk briefly about that? Sure, absolutely. So mm -hmm. um, we are one of six food banks in the state of Missouri. Um, I mentioned that we cover that 32 county service area. Um, the easiest way really for people to think of it is the fact that um, at the food bank, we really serve as a wholesaler. Um, we work with about 130 partner agencies, um, of which many of those those are pantries. The central pantry here in Columbia is under our umbrella, so that would be one example of what we work with. But um, that would be the retailer then who actually is working directly with people in need. So the people in need go to those providers. The food bank gives the food to the providers. Absolutely, yes. Wonderful. Yes. And um, the other thing we mentioned was that, you know, Whereas you have these national events and occasional events, you need volunteers all the time, correct? We do. We absolutely do. Um, in 2014, we had more than 44,000 volunteers who um, came out to help us at the food bank. 44,000 in in our food bank here. Yes, 44,000 oh volunteers. So yeah. to say that um, we could not do um, what we do without those volunteers is a major understatement. Yeah. Um, they really are critical to... Um, 
uh, to us being able to complete our mission. And we enjoy volunteers all year round. In the summertime though, with students being gone and people on vacations, um, we have a greater need than ever for volunteers. So if you're looking for something to do, um, I would definitely encourage uh, viewers to come out and help us. Well, I guess that's an issue, yeah. I mean, just because um, things kind of slow down and people go on vacation, people need to eat all the time. Absolutely. And you know, I guess that also brings up in my mind, I know that you guys do the buddy packs, which mm -hmm. allow kids who are in school to at school take home weekend packs and things right, like that. Right. But what do those kids and families do during the summertime? Well, um, it. I wish that I could say that it was a perfect system and that we were able to help everyone who is in need. The Buddy Pack program throughout the course of the main academic year sends those Buddy Packs home on weekends to, mm -hmm. to help out the children in need. And right now we're distributing about, about 7,400 of those on a weekly basis. Wow. Um, the primary way that children throughout the course of the week in that school year um, um, acquire their main meal is through um, school lunches. So of course in the summertime that goes away. Yeah. We are trying to identify some sites where we can put on a summer feeding program so that children can actually come to the site and um, can be provided a nutritious meal. Great, so that's something we can look for. So volunteering, I guess that brings up a question. Uh, I kind of think, wow, you're moving a, a, a big pallets of food. Do you need people that can move food, you know, who are strong enough to do that? Or um, what, what types of roles do you have sure. for people? Sure, um, all different types of things. So, um, you know, we have some people who help us in our main office, um, perhaps stuffing envelopes, for example. Um, in the volunteer room at any given time, people may be assembling buddy packs. Um, today, they were actually putting together bags of pasta to help people in need. So nice. um, you, you never know exactly what you'll find. Um, we have food drives that we do on an ongoing basis. So for people who want to come out and um, maybe get a little bit more physical to help us lift barrels and that sort mm -hmm. of thing. Um, absolutely, there, there's an opportunity for everybody. But you don't have to be super, you know, no, able not to at all. carry no, not that at stuff all. around. That's good. Um, and how would one get in touch with you for volunteering? Uh, maybe for the summer specifically? Sure. Um, I would encourage people to go to our website, and that is sharefoodbringhope.org. I love um, that. Share Food Bring Hope. It talks about your mission in your web address. That's we, really lovely. We think it's a really powerful message to yeah. be able to share, so we, we love it as well. Um, or people can call us. Our main line is 474 1020. Mm -hmm. um, Melanie Lake is our volunteer coordinator, and um, I would encourage people to reach out to her directly um, if they have an interest in volunteering and she can make sure we can find something wonderful for them to do. Yeah, so she probably listens to um, their skills and kind of matches them up with the right volunteer Absolutely. position. Absolutely, or a time that they have available that they can come in um, and help us for a couple of hours too. So. Great, and so, you know, if, if a family, uh, you know, from young to old, can you put kid, a family to work? At absolutely, the food absolutely. Wonderful. So we do have a, ru a rule in the volunteer room that um, kids need to be four feet tall. We mm -hmm. do have throughout the course of the we year, the yes, <laughs> exactly, we sure do. Yeah. Um, throughout the course of the year, though, we do have some kids helping kids days that allows an opportunity on Saturdays for families with smaller kids to come in as well. So um, we try to post everything on our website and keep that up to date. So that is really the very best way for people to uh, keep in touch with what's going on at the food bank. Great. So sharefoodbringhope.org. Mm -hmm. Go there. You know, that, what, you can go to the pool. Um, you can uh, go on your vacations. But when you get back or have some time, it, that's a really good way to um, to help out. Absolutely, to make a difference. And you know yeah. what I hear um, consistently from the volunteers who, who come to the food bank is, wow, this was really fun. So we, we're able to offer that opportunity to make a difference and help serve people in need in, in our community, but do it in a way that's enjoyable. Great. Yeah, and I will encourage. I will say that one of our cat members went to an event that you had recently called Canstruction. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, so we'll probably have that um, on our channel, so you can watch for that. Um, something a little bit creative with food. Absolutely. But yeah, so thank you for coming. Um, Share food, bring hope, go there. You can see the most immediate needs. But this Saturday, put your bags out for your letter carriers, yes, and please. we'll try to solve some issues with hunger. Yes. Thanks. Thank you.
Hello, Mid-Missouri. Welcome back to Making a Difference. Uh, we are with the Boy Scouts of America Great Rivers Council now, is that correct? Yes. And there were some, there were some parallels between you and our last guest, which was the Food Bank yes. of Central and Northeast Missouri. You cover 33 counties in the state. They cover 32. That's that's pretty interesting. Yes, um, we do have a large service area. We cover uh, basically all of mid-Missouri and also most of the northeast part of the state. Gotcha. Well, let's introduce ourselves. I'm Jennifer sure. Erickson. I'm the director at CAT, and I'm filling in for Marco Tapia today. And please introduce yourself. I'm Eric Stan. I'm the senior district executive with the Great Rivers Council, Boy Scouts of America. Senior district executive. Executive. That's pretty cool. And you have a uniform too. Yes. Which, you know, I, I, uh, I'm a little jealous. It's, it's cool. We need, I think we need uniforms, uh, by the way, for our, our host and stuff from here on out. But uh, Sure. Uh, so you are here to talk about a couple upcoming events yes. and some ways that the public can interact with Boy Scouts of America in different ways. Definitely. Um, Great. Uh, should we start with, um, I like the names of your things, Scout Scoutorama? Yes. Is that it? Scoutorama. Let's tell us about Scout Scoutorama. Uh, that is coming up this Saturday uh, from 10 to this 2. This is May 9th. Yes. Okay. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Grace Bible Church. Mm -hmm. It's actually running simultaneously while our kids are inside, our first through fifth graders, working on uh, racing their Pinewood Derby cars. Okay. And also the rain gutter regatta boats. And, and I'm going to slow you down because rain gutter regatta. Yes. That is hard. Rain gutters are. If the you imagine the, the the rain gutter on your house. Yeah. We basically take those off and put them on uh, sawhorses. Okay. Fill them with water about halfway, and then we put a boat in it, and they have to blow in the sail and beat the kids sitting next to them. That that's really awesome. I, I knew about Pinewood Derby. Yes. Because here in Columbia. Quite often they will, um, or at least once a year, I'm not sure how often, um, they block off Broadway. Correct. Um, and that's not what's happening. No, okay. we are the five ounce block of wood cars. So okay. we're the, basically the mini versions of those. Oh, that's, that's cool. But they're not in it. They just basically have to watch it and hope that the gravity takes their car faster than the rest of the kids lined up, their cars lined up on the track. Great, so this is happening so the public can come and watch these races? Yes, while they're there from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We'll also have a lot of outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have the police department, the fire department. Um, and we'll also have the City of Columbia stormwater team oh, yeah. will be there, mm -hmm. uh, as well as MU's Raptor Rehabilitation Project. Oh, with the owls and yes, the hawks? Yes, with the owls and the hawks. Awesome. It's really, they, wow. our kids love watching those and being able to do that. And then we'll also have a couple of our units are going to do some demonstrations. Uh, we'll have an outdoor cooking demonstration. And kids will also be able to make paper towel uh, roll um, bird feeders. Wow, that's a lot going on. And is this an annual event? Yes, this is. Okay, the reason I ask is because, you know, it's coming up this weekend. This show will probably air. They might be watching it on the 18th of May and say, Sure. I missed it. Uh, but it's something to look for every year. Scar Definitely. Scout Orama. Um, and what age groups are best? Is there kind of a recommended age group of the kids that take um, that are involved in this? It, for our Pinewood Derby and Rain Gutter Regatta, those are for our Cub Scouts, which are the boys in grades one through five. Okay. But this event is really geared towards anybody. Mm -hmm. Um, we service kids, boys from first to 12th grade, and then girls when they're age 14 all the way up to 21. But any family can come and, and observe and take advantage yes, of this. Yes, definitely. Um, wonderful and we event. encourage it. Great. So Pinewood Derby, Rain Gutter Regatta, yes. and lots of other cool things. This Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Grace Bible Church on Blue Ridge, Scoutorama. That's that's exciting. The good news is is that if you are watching this on May 19th or whatever, um, there is something coming up in June. Yes. Okay. <laughs> definitely. And that's our you... big, big event coming up this summer. Um, that is the Cub Scout Day Camp. Okay. Uh, we have this every year. Typically, it's in the early part of June. Uh, June 10th through 12th at Stevens Lake Park. And that's a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, Wednesday okay. night and then all day Thursday, Friday, about 8 a.m. to 4.30. Mm -hmm. um, and basically we're going to be, during those two full days, running the kids into different activities throughout the park, um, including uh, just off-site of the park, BB guns and archery, which are two of the most favorite activities that the kids like to do during the year. Sure. And we do those in safe ranges obviously, um, 
I assumed that, say, but yes. you know, it safety is, to say is it. very paramount. <laughs> and we also will go through and we take advantage of the lake that's there, at Stevens mm -hmm. Lake. So they'll get to go fishing. And this year, our, our theme is aviation. So we have a lot of neat aviation type displays and crafts and things that they'll be doing. Wow, neat. We have drones. We. Um, I, Are, I just, we were looking at that, but we're not <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, and so Stevens Lake Park, and is that for boys and girls, boys only? What It'll age just be range? boys only, okay. grades one through five. Okay. And so this the year kids. is the first year that we're opening it up to the general public. So the boys in first through fifth grade, they don't have to be in Scouts. Okay. And they can come and spend those two and a half days with us. So if you uh, have a child, a boy between first and fifth grade who's not in Boy Scouts. Yes. He can still take part in Definitely. this. Okay. That's pretty cool. And yeah, Stevens Lake Park is a great um, venue for that. I can imagine that's going to be a lot of fun. What, it's what do you do $45 that? for those two and a half days. Okay, yeah, good question. So people need to pre-register. There yes, is they a do. fee. $45 for two and a half days yes. sounds pretty And pretty they'll reasonable. need to pre-register off of our website, which okay. is www.bsa-grc.org. Great, and what will you be doing during this event? I You're will, gonna wear your uniform. Yes, I yeah. will obviously be wearing my uniform. Yeah. Um, I kind of go over and as a staff person for the Great Rich Council, I kind of oversee all the events, just make sure everything's running smoothly. Okay. And I also document and take photos of different activity stations cool. for us to use as promotional material later on. So people can check out what it was all about on yes, your website later. Definitely. Um, and you also mentioned you're an Eagle Scout. Yes, I am. And which is, you know, very impressive. I know you have to go through a lot of training for that. How many Eagle Scouts are kind of managing and running the Boy Scouts here locally? Here locally, we have a couple Eagle Scouts, um, but our staff is really made up of a number of folks that are either were with the program, but may not necessarily be with the program, but may have a family connection. Great. So um, go to their website. Um, if people have questions about it, they can also, you have like the schedule and things like that. Yes, we do. We have okay. the schedule online. Wonderful. And um, one thing we talked about was the fact that all year you have something called the Invention Lab. Did I get that yes. correct? I, that sounds cool. So Scoutorama and Invention Lab. It's it's very uh, forward thinking and yes, kind of we, fun. Yeah. What's going on? A couple years on? ago, our national office in, in Austin, Texas, or Dallas, Texas, excuse me, um, decided to kind of develop a STEM program, which STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. It's cool. kind of the new buzzword in, in U.S. education. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, we developed um, through a benefactor a mobile invention lab which is a 24-foot trailer. Um, it it kind of looks like almost like a food service trailer, mm -hmm. and it's wrapped with a really cool BSA logo. Mm -hmm. um, and basically inside, we've got a laser printer, a couple 3D printers. 3D a, printers? 3D printers. Okay, that's cool. So we actually can create little 3D models wow. out of... Uh, whatever the kids want to design. And this is something we have here locally yes. in the 33 counties. In the 33 counties. We can basically take that to any of our scout units as well as any school district within our borders. Wow. So if I have a kid in a school locally and this sounds like something I would want my kid to have access to, sure. talk to the school, see if they Definitely. can call and have them go to your website and they can contact and arrange for that, like, do you go to churches and schools? And yes, we can pretty much go anywhere with wow, the trailer. Wow, that's neat. I, I'm going to kind of watch it. Do you ever, you know, I know we have food trucks locally. Do you ever uh, publicize on, on Facebook where you guys will be for the weekend? Or? It, it, it's a little harder for us to coordinate than the food trucks. Okay, okay. Um, but we are accessible, and uh, they just have to contact us, and we can put them in touch with our Invention Lab manager and make sure that it gets scheduled. Great. So lots going on with Boy Scouts of America, Great Rivers Council, Scoutorama this Saturday, May 9th. Yes. June 10th through 12th, the Cub Scout Day Camp. And definitely go to your website for more information. It's only $45 for what seems like a great program. And then the Invention Lab runs all year. Is that over the summer too? Yes, it's all year round. Okay. It'll it, During the summer, it's primarily based at Lake of the Ozark Scout Reservation, okay. which is our Boy Scout camp uh, near Lori, Missouri, about mm -hmm. an hour and a half from here. Um, but being that it's a trailer and that it's mobile, we can take it anywhere during the summer as yeah. well. Yeah, so you probably need a little bit of a heads up because it has to travel. Definitely. Um, so yeah, put that on your list. 
Well, Eric, thanks so much. Um, I've learned a lot, and, and also I'm going to start uh, working on the cat uh, making a difference uh, uniform. Cat uniforms, yep. awesome. That would be good. So. Sounds great. Thank you very much for having me. All right, thanks.